So, what should we make of James Bond films from a security intelligence perspective? This is my review of No Time to Die. I've just seen the trailer, and like all James Bond's films, it's it's got it all. It's got the chase scenes, it's got the amazing technology, it's got, of course, Daniel Craig as James Bond in a tuxedo, it's got gorgeous women, it's got lots of gunfire, it's, it's got everything, right? I love James Bond films. I really, really do. I've got the whole collection dating back to the 1960s, believe it or not. And I've watched them all many, many, many times. This one, of course, has the usual cast of characters. It has the good guys, it has the bad guys. This bad guy is another evil, I don't know, threat to the world. He's gonna kill millions of people. There's some allusions to James Bond's past in the trailer. And it looks like a very, very exciting James Bond film that I will definitely not want to miss. Here comes the button. As somebody who worked in security intelligence for 32 years in Canada, uh, albeit not in the United Kingdom, I was no James Bond. There's two things that uh, about this film and about James Bond films in general that need to be pointed out. First and foremost is that James Bond works for MI6, which of course is the British Secret Intelligence Service or BSIS. And uh, here's the mandate right, right from the website. We collect special intelligence and mount operation overseas to prevent and detect serious crime and promote and defend the national security and economic well-being of the United Kingdom. And they talk about working very closely with MI5, which is the British Security Service, as well as GCHQ, the Government Communications Headquarters, which are the counterparts, respectively, of CSIS, the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, where I worked, and CSE, Communication Security Establishment, Signals Intelligence, where I also worked before I got to CSIS. There's a young lady in Santiago I want you to meet. You're late. When you're ready. The second thing, which you might, you might, you might find this curious, is that uh, there are a lot of people that love Bond films, like me. They're, they're great films. I think we all enjoy them. The problem is, is that there are people, and I've seen this, who apply to CSIS, so the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, where I worked for 15 years, thinking they're going to do what James Bond does. They think they're going to go abroad and kill people. They think they're going to go abroad and sleep with gorgeous women. And we have to kind of disavow them of that fact. This is not the way that it works. This is not how security intelligence is done in Canada. I remember talking to somebody in uh, human resources in the hiring part of CSIS who said, you know, there's a, a large tranche of people who when they put their applications into CSIS really do think they're entering a Ian Fleming film, a James Bond adventure. I suppose you could call them naive. I suppose you could call them silly, but I think what it does show is shows how popular culture can influence people's views on reality. Hollywood paints security intelligence spies as very sexy, adventurous. People have all kinds of neat things that they, they do, including killing people, going around the world, seeing marvelous places, using a technology that doesn't really exist. And when it comes down to what the real intelligence world is like, it's not even close to that. It's equally exciting, I would, I would submit, and I would say that based on my 32 years in the business, but it's not exciting as, as like in a Daniel Craig way. So if you're watching this video, by all means, be like me and love the James Bond films. They're great films, they're great excitement, there's three hours of escapism whenever you watch them. There's a reason why they're popular. But if you want to really look into what security intelligence actually does on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, you might want to talk to me first. Now, I don't have all the answers, and I didn't do all the jobs in my career in security intelligence. I did a lot of them. But if you're going to think of a career in this area, you might want to tone down your expectations a little bit. Okay, I'm not trying to be a killjoy here. I love the Bond films. They don't reflect reality. Sorry to tell you that.